What up, what up, what up? Back with Mr. Harris on my YouTube. It's a rainy day. It's a bit cold. Where the heck is spring at? I don't know. But uh, in this video, I want to share a little experience I just had as well as give my thoughts on two some things. So uh, yesterday, I uh, was able to get in touch with a friend that I haven't spoken to in a while. Shout outs to my boy. And um, David, great to hear from you, brother. Hope everything is well. And we had a brief conversation. You know, not much was said. But um, basically, you know, he told me that he, he watched my videos a little bit. And I appreciate the support. Make sure you like the videos. <laughs> but I spoke to him and he stated, you know, uh, my opinions aren't that popular. But I, I speak positive stuff. And, you know, I appreciate the love from everybody. But I told him, I said, you know, I feel you, brother. But I said something along the lines like, you know, my goal is not to be liked by everybody. My goal is not to be popular. And I say that because in middle school, I wasn't popular, but I knew a lot of people. In high school, when, especially at Summerbridge, um, this is when Chris Brown was around and I actually had hair. So I, w I, w I wouldn't consider myself popular, but a lot of ladies liked me. And um, I eventually switched and I went to Clinton. Still wasn't popular, but I found out that my name traveled around the school where like people were saying this new guy is around and stuff like that. Maybe it's because I came during junior year and by that moment everybody that was there was already there since freshman year and so this new face and I was pretty fly uh, but overall through school it was never my desire to be popular but I wanted to be kind of well known and as time persisted, persisted and I ended up in Mount Vernon High School my last six months of, of high school, at that point, I really didn't care what anybody thought. You know, I was just really ready to get out. And that's how it's been for me even after school, where, you know, during school years, I wanted to be this well-known guy, all the ladies, and then after life, it was kind of like, I don't care what anybody thinks. And I remember another point in my life where someone I used to associate with, he, he said something to me. He, he's, he was older than me. He's, you know, a couple years older than me. He was like, you know, I want to be likable. I want to be liked by everybody. And I just thought as a man, that is so weak to want to be liked by everybody. And don't get me wrong. You, you know, to a, to a degree, you want to be likable. Especially in the business I'm in of real estate sales. You want to people, you want for people to like you to a degree. At the same time, I've learned as a man that, especially in this business, some people are going to like you, some people aren't going to like you, and who cares? You're looking for the people that do like you and resonate with what you're saying. Because not everyone is going to feel what you're saying. And overall, I just, say, I just say all that to say that we have to ask ourselves, as men and women, are we looking to be popular, are we looking to be liked, or are we looking to be real? Because in today's society, it's very difficult for you to do both. It's very difficult for you to be someone who is gonna be honest, and not even necessarily honest because, let's be honest, <laughs> you know, most people don't like the full honesty of things. But it's very hard for you to be real as a person when everybody else puts up a, a facade. I just put up a video, you know, on why you can't take social, social media too seriously because Everything is a facade. Everything in life is the perception of things. I mean, we live in a society right now where we understand that very few people have it financially. I don't care what you tell me. I don't care what you drive. I don't care where you live. Most people don't have it as much as they live it out to be. Even these folks that are driving Mercedes and, and, and all these cars. Most of these cars are leased. Most of these cars are not outright owned. Even if you own a house.
house? What is your mortgage payments like? You're locked into that job for a long time where your cash flow is into, and there's nothing wrong with buying a house, you know. I'm just saying that in life, we gotta ask ourselves, are we going to live to try to please others? Are we going to live to try and live up to the image and expectations of others? Or are we gonna set our own path based upon what we want and feel for ourselves? Are we gonna create the life that we want, that we think is best for us? I drive a, a 2005 Toyota Camry. Glory be to God, I know that I walk past the dealership here on 211th Street sometimes. And I love looking at the car prices. 15, 25, 30,000. I love looking at that and saying to myself, I could drop the bands on that right now. Outright own clear, no problem. But I know that if I did that, I want to be living up to my true standard of what I found find is valuable. I would be living up to want to give off the perception of something that really doesn't matter to people who don't matter. Because my mindset at being close to 30 is I am willing to sacrifice the next one, two, three, four, five years to live a great life the rest of my life because I know that that's what it takes to get to where I want to be. Two, three, four, five years of consistent grinding effort. Instead of blowing money, instead of shopping, I am save and invest every sale, every dollar. I build this these two businesses and just keep grinding. Doesn't mean don't have fun. Doesn't mean don't enjoy myself. It just means put in the work. Put in the effort. And then get the nice car. Are we going to live to try to be popular, try to be cool, or keep up with the Joneses that they say, as they say? Or are we going to be authentic? Because we can't we can't be both. We can't be both. And so at the end of the day, I'm gonna end this off with my goal on this on these videos is never to be fake. It's never to put up a front. It's never to put up an image of someone I'm not. And that's why I kind of give more detail about myself and my life more than I, pro I probably should. But at the end of the day, I want these videos to encourage other men. I want these videos to help bring guidance and understanding of life to men and women. So that that's, that's where I'm gonna end it off at, you know. I understand that to some degree as this program grows there will be popularity popularity to some degree there will be more subscribers and people that understand and feel the messages I'm putting forth but again it, it is never my goal to sit here and try to be popular to be cool or try to give off a false image this is real life and as we get older and life really begins to stand out to us more and we begin to see things in different ways about relationships and love and money and women and men and all these things we got to continuously grow and reshape and redesign what we want for ourselves and the directions we're going but one thing I will not do is put myself in a box of wanting to be popular based upon what society dictates or what, or what everyone else is doing that's not the mark of a leader in my opinion and we as men and women got to decide who we're going to be at the end of the day. So thank you for tuning in. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your time.